A key element in how virtual memory works is the page table. Think of it as a translation mechanism that the operating system uses to translate the virtual addresses that your programs use to the actual physical addresses in your computer's memory. The most basic way to implement a page table is with a linear or flat structure. In this approach, each virtual page within a program's address space has a corresponding entry in the page table, regardless of whether the page is actually used or not. However, as computers have moved to 32-bit and then 64-bit architectures, the potential size of these virtual address spaces and as a result the memory requirement for storing and managing page tables has grown significantly. Since page tables must be stored in main memory, some sort of optimization has to be applied to reduce the memory required by those page tables. Consider a 32-bit system with a 4 GB virtual address space where memory is divided into 4 KB pages. A linear page table in this scenario would need over a million entries. If each entry takes up 4 bytes, a single page table could consume 4 megabytes of memory per running process. Assuming a modest amount of 50 processes, and you get to 200 megabytes of allocated memory just for page tables. This issue is much more pronounced in 64-bit systems, where the potential of virtual address space is much larger. The core problem then becomes how to manage these address translations efficiently without dedicating an excessive amount of physical memory simply to store the page tables themselves. One of the most common techniques for reducing the memory requirements of page tables is to use multi-level page tables, also known as hierarchical or multi-level paging. The main idea behind multi-level page tables is to break down one big page table into a series of smaller tables organized like a hierarchy. The trick to saving memory is that these smaller tables are only created when they're actually needed to map a part of the virtual address space that's being used. If a chunk of the virtual address space isn't currently linked to any real physical memory, the entries in the higher level page table that would point to it can be marked as invalid. When a higher level entry is invalid, the system doesn't need to create the lower level page tables it would have pointed to, which conserves memory. If you guys want to know more about virtual memory, paging, and how they are implemented in modern systems, you can get my short 30-page ebook called The Anatomy of Virtual Memory, which explains the basics of how virtual memory and paging work, the structure of page tables and page table entries, the role of the memory management unit and the translation lookaside buffer, the virtual to physical address translation process, page faults and interrupts, additional features of virtual memory like demand paging and swapping, and page table optimization techniques like the multi-level page tables we're discussing right now. Link is in the description of the video. Thanks for your support, and now back to the video. To access a multi-level page table, the virtual address is broken down into several sections. The most significant bits of the virtual address are used as an index into the different levels of the page table hierarchy, while the remaining least significant bits represent the offset within the final physical page. Here's an example. In a 32-bit system with 4 kilobyte pages, the 32-bit virtual address might be divided as follows. 10 bits for the first level page table index, 10 bits for the second level page table index, and 12 bits for the page offset. The first 10 bits are used as an index into the first level table, known as a page directory. This entry either points to the location of a second level page table in physical memory, or tells the system that this virtual address range isn't currently in use. If the entry is valid, the next 10 bits of the virtual address are then used as an index to find a specific entry within the second level page table. This entry contains the actual physical frame number and several control bits. Finally, this physical frame number is combined with the last 12 bits from the original virtual address to get the complete physical address. This address is used to access the physical main memory and write or read the requested data. Modern 64-bit systems often implement even deeper hierarchies, with 3, 4, or even 5 levels of page tables to manage their significantly larger virtual address spaces. To find the physical memory location of a virtual address, the system has to go through each level of these tables, starting from the main root table. This step-by-step -step lookup is usually done by a dedicated hardware component called the memory management unit, which caches page table entries. This way, the system tends to avoid having to access main memory multiple times just to translate a single virtual memory address. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my virtual memory ebook linked below. I'll see you soon.